High in the sky, it's the small white dot looming large. The Americans say this is a Chinese surveillance balloon with a flight path that's taken it over sensitive military sites. The fact is, uh, we know that it's a surveillance balloon, uh, and I'm not going to be able to be more specific than that. Uh, we do know that the balloon has violated U.S. airspace and international law, uh, which is unacceptable. The balloon is believed to have departed from mainland China and was first sighted over the Aleutian Islands near Alaska. It's then thought to have passed over Canada before being sighted over Billings in Montana. Nearby is Malmstrom Air Base, where 150 intercontinental ballistic missiles are held. The U.S. Air Force scrambled fighter jets and surveillance aircraft upon discovering the balloon, which is the size of three buses. The Americans decided against shooting it down, wary of danger from debris falling on the ground, and confident it wasn't gathering significant intelligence. But it casts a diplomatic shadow. Following a meeting with South Korea's foreign minister, the US Secretary of State was due to fly to Beijing. His talks with President Xi have now been postponed. Once we detected the balloon, the US government acted immediately to protect against the collection of sensitive information. We communicated with the PRC government directly through multiple channels about this issue. We concluded that conditions were not conducive for a constructive visit at this time. China, meanwhile, has called the balloon a civilian airship used for research, mainly meteorological purposes. It says it regrets the unintended entry of the airship into U.S. airspace. America begs to differ, calling it unacceptable and a violation of sovereignty. I think the Chinese really were doing it because they can. In response to long-standing use of American spy planes up and down the China coast and sometimes intruding into Chinese airspace, the value of the uh, airship or balloon in intelligence gathering terms probability would be quite small. It is the distant spectacle in the skies over the United States, with a sphere of influence that extends far further. James Matthews, Sky News, in Washington.